Hi, 210 students. This is just a reminder that we are moving into weeks 7 and 8 and we'll cover chapters 5 and 6. Um, learning Outcome 2, check that out. It's in your syllabus under the course calendar. The learning outcomes are indicated in Canvas before each two-week block so that you'll know what to focus on for those two weeks. Some learning outcomes we hit multiple times and some just once. Um, Note that you'll have chapter quizzes for 5 and 6 due and a discussion board post on Lisa Delpit's Other People's Children with regard to language diversity and learning. I think you'll really enjoy this chapter. Um, some of Lisa's book is kind of hard to wade through, but this is one of the more enjoyable and applicable chapters, so I look forward to reading what you have to say about that in the discussion board area. Um, a reminder, the student-initiated withdraw date is coming up. It is October 12th, so if you find that you need to um, withdraw yourself from a class so that you won't receive a failing grade, which will affect your GPA because of um, lost work or if you know of something that's going to come up that's going to make it impossible for you to complete this class or any of your other classes, you do have time up until the 12th to go in and drop yourself. Um, so I recommend doing that if you are in that situation. Um, otherwise, as per my syllabus, I will not drop you um, for earning a failing grade. So if we get to the end of the semester and you're receiving a D or an F or a grade that you're not satisfied with, um, I will not drop you or withdraw you at that point. You will, re you will receive the grade you earned on your transcript. So I think everybody in, in this class is doing great and is mostly caught up, but if that's the case or if you have any questions about the withdraw date, let me know because once that date passes, you no longer can drop yourself. Also, a reminder about your service learning hours. I hope that you're all working on that and enjoying that time and getting that assignment completed. And also, don't forget about the research project. As we go through these chapters, try to find a topic that's interesting to you to do your research project on. Remember that it needs to be cross-cultural, so a few that would really work for this week would be socioeconomic status and exceptionality and um, religion and sexual orientation or gender roles and religion. Those are some examples for you. And don't forget that you need to, to complete an outside project, not just reading about the topic, but rather you need to observe or interview someone or watch a documentary or, or read an outside source aside from um, scholarly articles like a book or anything you can think of outside of just reading and regurgitating. That is the one piece that a lot of students at the end of the semester they forget to do is that additional piece of the research project. We are about midway through this semester so it's really time to start working on that because it is due towards the end of the semester but that's going to be here before you know it and is only a few weeks away. One last thing, I won't be in my office hours next Thursday, um, October 8th. I will be on fall break with my kids Thursday and Friday, so if you email me, um, I probably won't get back to you until Monday, and office hours will be changed from Thursday to Tuesday at the same time, so I will have office hours Tuesday the 6th from 8.30 to 11.30 if you need to come by and chat with me or have any questions. I'll check back in again soon and have a nice next two weeks.